What's up, guys? DK, back to the Let's Play of Mega Man Legends 2. Last time we, um, what did I do last time? Oh, yeah, we answered all those quiz questions, did all those donations, gave gifts to certain people, and doing all that made us like Mega Man, which enabled me to get a 20% discount from all the shops and so on and so forth. Alright, so one of the things I bought was the joint plug, which, which made me make the adapter plug, so now I can use three booster parts. Uh, bust apart, sorry. Let's move to a place. Well, might as well go to a place where I need to go to first. Today we're going to take it down the the Nina Ruins, which is... Uh, I really wish that they hadn't made that change that they made. Uh, is it only for the Japanese version on PSP, or is it for both Japanese versions where they made the change? Because... Uh, apparently, the Japanese version on PSP, the the underwater sequence, it doesn't slow the game down at all. And I think that's the sole reason why people choose to speedrun it on that, because of that one level. Especially, ooh, I forgot one very my details. So I do got to go back to the, um, I do got to go back to the flutter. Now, if you don't mind doing this twice, which I do mind because this level is pretty laggy, you might want to come down here with the um, with the ground crawler so you can quickly dispatch uh, all the bosses that stand in your way. Uh, however, there's a couple of um, walls that I want to drill over, and the drill arm does indeed make short work of a certain boss down here. So let's just go ahead and put, uh, change weapons. Go ahead and put that baby on. Right, and while I'm back in the flutter, let's go ahead and get another lunch box just in case something horribly goes wrong with the jellyfish. You know, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure there's no limit to how many times you can do this. Really, really, really helpful. Uh, although it's only 25 uh, zenny, don't sell it ever because if you sell the the picnic lunch, that'll piss off Roll and that will um make her love for you go down and stuff like that. Trust me, you don't want to do that. All right, guys. So now we are officially ready for the ruins. Let's go. The reason why I want the drill on because there's a certain busted part down here that I want to get. It's really not that helpful, but it's slightly better than what I currently have on, so why not? And as I said, it makes short work of, um, of a boss down here. Let's go! The second key is in here somewhere. Be careful, Mega Man. Don't rush things. This is a really complex structure. Be careful you don't get lost. Alright, so let's talk about our busted parts here. So as I said, energy works differently in this game than it did before. Let me see if I can show you by by just putting on something basic like let's see, attack, range. Okay, apparently uh, I don't I don't yet have the necessary busted parts to to show you the main difference between energy in this game than I did than is the first game. So I'll wait till later on to show you that because at, at this point it really doesn't matter. Anyway, for this point in the game, I like to use um. Let me see. There we go. I like to use Power Razor, Assessor Pack, and Booster Pack. You can, if you don't need that much power, you can replace this with like maybe a Upgrade Pack. That's pretty good. But we're gonna use, we're gonna go for the kill. All right, so let's go. I fucking hate this place. I mean, it's 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 not bad at first, but once you start going on the water, then it's uh pretty annoying. Which reminds me. Body parts. Make sure you get these hydro jets. Yeah, hydro jets is um just um jet skates that work on the water. That's all it is. Of course, I don't have to fight these guys. I can just you know run right by them, but that's no fun. That's no fun. I want to kill things. Uh, why are you not dead? Yeah, I really hate it when I have to do something without my vacuum arm, because I, I like to collect Zenny, of course. But you definitely want the drill arm for this for this uh, level here. 
I just hate running around picking up scattered loot like that. It's kind of annoying. All right, so. I hate these things, man. They're just everywhere. These things, termites. I missed. But I love these guys right here. Those uh, exploding robots. They're so easy to kill, and they give you so much money when you kill them. I love those guys. Actually, this level has quite a lot of them. Yeah, I love these things. I don't think I want to go there just yet. Let's see. Wasn't there another door over here somewhere? Uh, nope, that is where I want to go. Okay. Now, I can actually use my, uh, let me see, body parts. I, tell you, I, I used to be really, really, really good at this. Almost to the point where I can speed run it. But it's been such a long time since I've done this. The way out is right down here. But I want to go in one of these doors right here. Now, the game wants you to wait until you um, until you uh, flood this, this place with the water. But you don't actually have to do that. It, ooh! hate when I do that. Imagine that. Imagine that happening speed run. Okay, I hate how in this game when you... Do a 360 turn. He moves. That's kind of annoying. He didn't do that first game. First game, he he, he just turned around. Anyway, you can reach these uh these uh things now by using your your jet skates. A little bit of money there. There's another one over here. This was kind of tricky. There we go. Okay, so. In here now, there's a water drill over. Let's uh, do it. Thank you. And it's our old friends, the shield bastards again. Get that shit out of my face. Hate these things. Man, these guys are annoying. Die. Thank you for dying. Kaboom. Kaboom. Yeah, see, this is... You're going to get a lot of money down here. Probably going to get about 200,000 zenny. In this one level alone, just by killing those guys. All right, so in here now, two of these things, I believe. Thank you. Uh, I really don't have to worry about my my special weapon running out. So, oh, this one doesn't have two of them. It's it's another one that has two of these guys. So, it's like way later. I can't get this. 12,000 zenny. Nice. Again, just stepping stones for upgrading. Oh, did you respawn or is that the second one? I think you respawned. I don't know. Make sure I'm not missing anything over there. Mm, nope. That's it. Uh, ooh, wrong way. Damn. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, let's continue. Now, which way was it again? Here we go, down here. Uh, there's a... I don't remember that being up there. Mm -hmm. Let me see if anything's up there. I don't think there is. Uh, ooh, I hate, I hate these jumps so much. I don't think... Ah, I hate that. That's annoying. Oh boy. I miss the days when I was like really, really, really good at this game. Where I could just, I, I could literally just, just play it kind of autopilot. Yeah, nothing here. Damn, I wasted my time for nothing. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, more termites or these guys. I thought I was going to fight those termite things, but. Yeah. Right, another wall right here. Let's drill it away. Thank you.
this thing again. Well, aggravating enemy. Alright, there's a chest right here. Gimme, mine, gimme, mine. Mechanical Notes 3. I forgot which one this does. But obviously it's for a special weapon. So let's just get that baby while we're already here. Alright, so uh We go in here. Don't press that don't step on that button, because if you do that you'll be um trapped by worms and they drain your, your energy, so let's not do that. Get this chest for five thousand zenny. Let's get out of here before we actually step on that button. That's kind of a, a throwback because there was a, a trap like that in the first game. Okie dokie. Now, I don't know how it works, but apparently that there's... That's really high. Too high for you to jump. If there was something around there you could stand on, maybe you could get over it. There's uh, some kind of glitch that the speedrunners use. Which lets them do some kind of air walk. I don't know, but it will. Anyway, you can't pick this thing up yet, so let's just keep moving on. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at. I haven't really looked into that glitch. I lost my interest in speedrun this game after I tried to speedrun Glass Base. It's just fucking annoying. It looks like the floor beneath you is filled with water. Alright, and here we go. The most aggravated part of this game. The underwater levels. Oh god, this just sucks. What were they thinking? So while you're underwater, everything moves at like half speed. It's just actually less than half speed. It's just so annoying. And again, for whatever reason, this does not happen on the PSP Japanese version. And to that end, now we can pick up these uh, things right here. And I don't know how that glitch works or how they discovered it, but they they do something and they throw the they throw the thing in like they trap it in midair or something. I, I don't know what the hell they do. I'm gonna have to look it up. But well. Anyway, uh, jumping like this is slightly faster than just running underwater. So yeah, really, 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 really annoying here. Fuck, I missed. So obviously, we're trying to make a um, make a way to reach this uh, platform here. And there we go. All right, so let's just who would jet our way down here. There's a couple of these uh, flying things in the air. But everything is slowed down. Everything. The refractor speed when they drop. I think it even slows down how long it takes for them to disappear. So I guess it was too much trouble for them to only slow down the things that's supposed to slow down. So they say, okay, we'll just slow down everything. Huh. They won't know. All right, so in here now, there's another one of these uh, floating things. Just go ahead and kill him. It's annoying. Thank you. As you see, if you don't get these uh, Hoover Jets, uh, you're going to be down here forever. I hate this level so much. I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. I, I didn't start to hate it until I realized that in the Japanese version, this, this slowdown thing doesn't happen. Uh, I'm going to assume the reason for that is because it's the PSP and it was a RAM issue. That might be the reason why they did that. Or maybe... The Japanese credits say, you know what, fuck this. Nobody's gonna, nobody likes this uh, slow down thing. Let's just play it normally. I, I don't, I, I don't know, but yeah. 
kind of makes me want to play the the Japanese version for the for the sole purpose of doing this without the without the slow down speed thing. It's the the, the, the shit right here, man. It's just it's just so damn annoying. All right, so these fish right here, for the most part, they are extremely harmless. Uh, however, um, fish do swim in schools, as you know. If you attack one, yeah, the rest of them just suddenly come after you with full force. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. And they don't give you that much zenny, so... Yeah. When I first saw that, I was like, what the hell? Anyway, there's another wall over here to drill over, so let's uh, do that. You can actually stand on top of these fish, by the way, but don't do that. More of these termite thingies. Uh, I'm not going to kill you. I ain't, I ain't got time for this. I'm, I'm already going to be down here for about 30 minutes anyway, because this, this fucking level is ridiculous. A lot of these little fuckers in, aren't they? All right, more fish to fry. It only takes one. It only takes one shot to kill these guys. So, if you come down here with the vacuum arm, there's no reason not to kill them because you know every little bit helps. All right, so you going this way, you, you get this item right here. Twenty thousand zenny, which is actually very, very nice to have. All right, so give me this. Take this, throw it on the switch. I missed. Damn it! There we go. Uh, going th this way lets you pass one of the rooms that has these four giant fish things, but, you know. Whoa! Forgot about that thing. Okay, this is the one that got two of them yesterday. This, this is the room that has two of those guys. So this is what I, I was um, talking about right here. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Alright. So I, I, I could have uh, entered this room this way, but I wanted to go the other way, so. Alright, so the bosses of this of this level are right over here. I'm showing three reaver bots nearby. They're big ones too. Be careful. Right. The bosses are behind this door. Now, you have a choice. You can either... Is this the way? I think so. No. Okay, this is the way I came from going down that way. Now, these mini bots here, um, don't exactly know how they work. Supposedly, as long as you're walking, they, they won't notice you. Get it yet. Get it yet. The game light. I, like I said, I don't know exactly when or how they can notice you, but as long as you jet skate as soon as you enter, you'll uh, be fine. Anyway, I forgot exactly where it is, but there's a control panel nearby that you can use to drain the water here. And if you do that, you will fight the Reverbots on land instead of fighting them underwater. But this is an underwater level, so let's do this the way the game wants you to do it. Okay, now these damn things right here, they are very 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 annoying 
Uh, if you fight them on land, they will stay in one spot and just constantly shoot stuff at you. Uh, the reason why I'm fighting them underwater right now because I gotta fight them on land later on, so that way I'm guaranteed to show you both uh, variations of it. Fighting them underwater is a lot harder because it's slower and they can actually move. And also, when there's one of them left, it'll like make itself immune to damage for a while 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 spitting out clones and stuff like that. But oh well. All right, so uh, speedrunners do this thing where they purposely allow themselves to get electrocuted. I think that stops them from shooting these uh, fireballs at you or something. I don't. I don't know. They purposely run up to them and get shocked like that. That changes the way they uh, they fight you. Of course, we're just gonna take the drill arm and drill the fuck out of them. Up, uh, damn. There we go. Uh, you're still alive. Okay, one down. Yeah, don't forget that that drill arm is surprisingly strong. Now, what I'm going to do here is, before I kill one of them, I'm going to dwindle them both down to like a smidge of health because uh, when there's only one left, that last one will occasionally make itself immune to damage. And it'll start sprouting out clones, and it'll just be a really long and laggy fight. Really annoying. Okay, right there. Whoa! Yeah, I really, I really don't like these uh, bosses at all. Now, a very unique thing about these bosses is that not only do they not have a a unique battle theme like all the other bosses, all the other main uh, ruined bosses, but also um, you fight these guys three times. All right, so now that there's only one left, this last one over here is gonna do. See that? He goes into like a phase, a phase two phase. And he starts making these clones. I don't know what those, what those clones actually do. I guess they blow up in your face. But eventually he will uh, let the shield down, and then you can, um, and then you can uh, kill it. If you leave the room before killing all three of them, you have to fight all of them again. So just keep that in mind in case you're low on health. Yeah. See, this is annoying. There he goes. Oh, that's so annoying. Once you kill all three of them, the last one will drop a key. Obviously, you need this key to proceed with the game, so just... Yeah. And that takes care of the bosses of this level. Yeah, uh, you actually fight the bosses early, which is really, really weird. But oh well. Okay, now I remember you, um, what you do is, uh, okay, yeah, so, like I said, you can fight the bosses, uh, outside of water, but you have to let the water back up anyway, because I can't pass this room unless the level is on the water, unless there's a glitch that lets you do it. Uh, the game wants you to take two of these and stack them on top of each other, but fuck that. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna throw it, like, over here in the corner, like that. I don't know if that's high enough. <laughs> Throw it in the corner and you can just barely make it like that. So yeah. Die. <laughs> Alright, moving on. By the way guys, we're only about halfway done. Yeah, this this level is, is, is just really long. All right, there's another one of these uh, wall things to drill over, so let's do that. Thank you. I think this leads to what I really want to get down here. Uh, oh! I hate these goddamn things. Oh, they're so annoying. I hate this species of enemies, man. They just sneak up on you and bowl you over. I can't stand that. And they move surprisingly fast on the water.
Anyway, where was that thing? Okay, there's a door. I think there's something over here, too. Uh, nothing but a dead end. Okay. Alright, what have we here? Power Blaster! Alright, so with that, the Power Razor is completely useless. This thing is j just like the Power Razor, but it also adds a Rapid Fire to it. Attack plus two, Rapid Fire plus one. I still don't think I can show you what I need to show you un until much later on. So I'll worry about it then. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Actually, now that I got that, let me see. Bust the parts, power, boost the pack, rapid, rapid. Okay, so now I got three rapid fire. A decent energy, slightly increased range, and good rapid fire. So this is a pretty good uh, buster combination for this point of the game. Damn. Giant termite things. Boom. Man, I hate this level. Ooh. I'm surprised how fast those guys move on the water. Okay, I believe this leads uh, to where I want to go. Yeah, further down. Now then. What's next, if I can remember? These guys! So, this is where I'm going to farm a lot of Zenny later on. I'm not going to worry about it right now because I'm underwater and it kind of sucks. And plus, I don't have my vacuum arm. But this is about 20,000 Zenny right here. If I need a lot of Zenny at this point in the game for whatever reason, this is where I do it. But not underwater. Fuck that. And not without a vacuum arm. All right, another one of these rooms. I believe it's the way you want to go is over here somewhere. I forgot. I used to be really good at this. I'm probably going to miss it. Oh, no, I hit it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> still got it. This is the way we want to go. I can't remember if there's anything downstairs that you want to get. Okay, now these fish things here, uh, you can actually shoot these fish. But, uh, they are very, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't, I forgot the word I'm looking for, but they're very aware of their surroundings. Every time I try to shoot these guys, they just swim away. But I'm not going to do, uh, do that right now, because I'm pretty sure that probably counts as a bad deed, since they're just innocent enemies. I mean, not enemies, but just innocent fish. No, okay. Uh, there's nothing on the bottom. I think you can go down there and drain the water, but that's about it. Let's just go ahead and, and get a move on. Uh, the game wants you to grab one of those um, things down there and stand on it and reach this, but screw that. Let's just go. This thing again. Uh, you know what? I'm not fighting those guys on the water. That's so damn annoying. Uh, naturally, since they're underwater, they can't shoot fire at you. Instead, it'll just be a bunch of bubbles. So, I'm glad they remembered to include that detail. Unlike some games like, I don't know, Super Mario Brothers, in which you can somehow fire fireballs underwater. So, that's one thing that they did a good job with. Alright, so, um, the item over here that I'm getting ready to get is actually not very useful, but I guess I will show it for those who want it for some reason. I guess it can come in handy in certain missions. There's a, um, there's a buster part back here that I'm never going to use. I'm, I'm just going to get it, and I guess I'll sell it. Uh... Obviously, if you're doing a 100% speed run, you have to come back here and get it because you can't, you know, that's the only way to get it. So, jump up here, get this. And going down here, we will find a chest, if memory serves me. Unless there's another door here. 
Yeah, you find this chest, and this is gonna be a range booster alpha, right? Yeah, range booster alpha increases your range by four, but we don't need that. I probably just sell it. It isn't gonna sell for much, but you know, just want to show it to you. And I man, I, I might be able to find a use for it. Actually, yes. Uh, now, now that I have that, I can show you what what I was talking about earlier with with the whole uh, energy thing. Now that I got something that increases my range by a lot, I can show you what I meant to show you. Let me kill this thing to get my health back before I get skewered by that. Oh! Now I can't get my energy balls. Okay, I got one. Okay, man, that's so annoying. I mean, obviously, I I, I could have easily killed it if I wanted to, but you know, probably should have. Whoa! Uh, I'm gonna miss that money, and gonna miss that money too. I gotta stop forgetting about those guys. I'm at 500,000. That's a lot. All right. There's a door really high up on the wall, Mega Man. Just above where you came in. It's so high, you won't even be able to climb up there. So, how do you get in? All right, so what you have to do there, guys, is uh, you have to use your skates. And as you're... Nice money here. As you're, I mean, as you're skating off of it, make sure that you're holding up. That allows them to like, you know, go up a little bit. And you have to do this underwater in order to reach this room. And then you get this item right here. A sour. Uh, this is gonna be completely useless for a while. Is that what I need for the crusher? I think it is. Or is that for the hunter seeker? I don't know. Anyway, let's go down. I I forgot I can't shoot while I'm in jet skate mode. Long way down here. I forgot where the door is. Here we go. Here we are. All right, another room that can potentially be a speed run killer. I think. The hell it won't, it just did. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you try jumping on that reaver bot's back? Alright, so we have to use this reaver bot to um gain access to these uh pillars. Uh apparently there's something about this that can kill a speed run. I don't know what it is because I don't speed run. But what the What the hell? Okay, that was weird. I don't know what it is because I don't speed run this game. All right, so get this. Come on, and this is twenty thousand zenny, which is nice. What we really need is a key. I forgot which which, which way it is. I did. I didn't get the um. I didn't get the map thing. So, but we can. The game wants you to use that robot to to jump on both of them. But if you have the jet skates, well, the hoover jets, you can actually reach it by skating. In the right direction. Yeah, I missed it. Okay, there, there it is, right there. So, basically, you um, you stand on this and you skate in the right direction, and, and you can uh, jump on top of it like that. Obviously, that's what speedrunners do. All right, now when I first played this, uh, I wasn't actually paying attention to what Roll was uh, saying, and I thought that this view butt was like kind of like a boss and I was attacking it I was like okay why isn't it why isn't it attacking me oh well uh, and then after shooting it for about two minutes it suddenly started to shoot um, shit out of his ass or whatever it was shooting at me and it really really hurts this thing takes a long time to die but we kind of need it to pass low so don't do that 
Whether or not killing this bot is a bad deed, I don't know because it's a friendly bot. But yeah, you can actually uh, kick, kick, you can um, kill this thing, and um, when it's almost dead, it'll start fighting back, and it does a lot of damage to you. But this thing has a lot of health. Okay, this is the one I just I was just at a minute ago. Ah, okay, I thought I was gonna miss it. This is the one I already opened. So after you get that first one, the twenty thousand zenny, which is definitely what they use in speed runs. Make sure you're facing in the right direction. Here we go. And just skate your way over there. Here we go. There you go. Nice. So obviously, uh, I guess when you're speed running, if you don't do that on the first try, you're gonna lose minutes, and at that point, it's probably a dead run. Not that I care, because I don't speak run the game, so... What the hell was that? Oh, I was seeing stuff I wasn't supposed to see. Okay, because I was, like, out of bounds or whatever. I don't know. Alright, and for the most part, that's pretty much this whole ruin. But there is uh, one last thing we gotta do. Well, actually, we gotta beat this boss twice, so let's do those things. Hey, where'd all the water go? Okay. Save the game. Energy charge. Guess I'll go ahead and save. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save right now. Not that I need to, because... Uh, again, this... This game was not... Beta tested, so I don't know what the hell they were thinking. And at this point, I can use my, um... I can use my, uh... Normal jet skates now. We're pretty much done with the Hydro Jets until I get to the next level. Alright, now look at this. There's a key right here, and there's a wide area. How much you want to bet that we're going to get ambushed by a boss the moment we pick up that key? You did it! You got the second key! Good work, Mega Man! I don't believe it. Ball a loss to a little punk like you? Ha! If you think I'm a pushover like Bola, you've got another thing coming to you. I work for a living. I don't hold back, ever. Not even if I have to fight a little kid like you. You're not getting past me. Not as long as you have that key. If you aren't going to hand it over nicely, I'll just have to take it from you. Hey, hey, hey! Alright, so Claymore here. Uh, he simply will not move from that spot. He will stay right there and keep shooting shit at you. Uh, you can use the easily avoid it, but sometimes he, he will just shoot it directly at you this is this is the way the game wants you to fight it by the way his uh, battle theme is pretty cool hey 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 as you see fighting him normally can be uh, kind of annoying hey 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 Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> I kind of like Claymore. Hey, hey, hey! His bounty is pretty cool. I like it. All right. Mm hmm. Not bad for a kid. You're not such a pushover. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. You wait. I'll be back. All right, so as I said, that's the way the game uh, wants you to fight it. But uh, let's try something a little different instead. Oh, wrong one. Press buttons too fast. 
Oh well, game's over. We gotta start from the beginning. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, let's try that again. Game start, continue. In the ruins. Good thing I remember to save because cause I think I forgot to uh, do that one time when, when I first recorded this, like what, 10 years ago? I don't know. Uh, body parts to just case. I really gotta stop interrupting Rose's uh, dialogue because I really love her voice. It's really cute. All right, get the key. And now let's do this the easy way. Simply just run up to him. And drill the fuck out of his ass. <laughs> like I said, this game was not better tested. I, I don't know how they allowed something like that to exist in the game. This, that, 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 that's clearly not what this weapon was meant to do. But, hey, it works. All right, so now we got to go back the hallways. Uh, sometimes when you get a key, uh, Mega Man will automatically teleport. But unfortunately, uh, that doesn't work here. In this case, we, we got to go back the hard way. Now, as the, no, not sometimes. This, this is the only time where after we get a key, we got to go all the way back the hard way. Now, why that's the thing for only this level, I don't know. I'm going to assume it's because uh, they want you to fight Claymore twice. But, oh well. Anyway, so let's go back now. Hmm. Not as long as I remember. But the funny thing is, uh, the video that you're watching right now, I'm like, what, 46 minutes in? 47 minutes in? Uh, speedrunners would have normally beat the whole game by now. Yeah, that's how fast they uh, get through this game. Like, like what? Like 50 minutes? Somewhere around there? Hello. I really hate how they just blow up in your face like that, but it's fine. All right, where were we again? Oh yeah, the fish are harmless um, outside of water course. They, they, they are completely defenseless now that there's no no water here. Uh, you can once again raise the water. I don't know why the fuck you would do that, but you can if you want to for some odd reason. Uh, the only reason why. You, you would do that as if you forgot to um, get something that can only be attained by raising the water. Look at all this money. So as I said, that particular spot right there is actually a very, very, very good uh, zenny farming spot. Because it's right here by the, um, by the thing. Only thing is, you, you gotta sit through this elevator cut scene twice every time you do it. But uh, sometimes, let's see, 48,000, right? I like to come down here with the vacuum arm sometime and just kill these guys over and over and over again. If I really need a lot of money for this point, for whatever reason, that's what I do. But you can clearly see why I like to do it with my uh, vacuum arm. So I was at 48,000, now I'm at 62,000, so that was about, what, 14,000 any? Which is more than the Golden Bird. But if you're good at killing the, the Golden Bird fast, uh, that Golden Bird is still the best method, but I don't like picking it up because I always get hit when I try. All right, so let's just continue, I guess. And these fish are completely helpless outside of water. You poor bastard. But since I don't have my vacuum on, I'm not going to waste time doing that. This 
is where you fight the bosses. Thank God they don't respond. <laughs> uh, fuck that. Alright, the four giant fish things, they too are completely defenseless outside of water. Poor bastards. They give you a decent amount of money, but, you know. So I'm gonna kill them so I get some, get some money in process. Apparently, they have a certain spot on their body that, that blocks your buster gun. Forgot about that. Alright, so moving on. Now, this is the way I didn't come last time. I went the other way because I wanted to get that up that, up that stuff. I went that way. Die, fucking fish. <laughs> I'm just killing these completely defensive fish. Ooh. See, that's why I don't like the lifter. Because if you're, if you're too close, you'll get hit. Alright, I missed the thing. Alright, we're almost out of here. Die, please. Oh, I told you to die. Thank you for dying. Which way was it again? Here we go. Hello. Hi. Yeah, those those guys are everywhere in in uh, this ruin and the option ruins. They give you a lot of money. Screw these things. Fuck them to hell. I can't stand those guys. Man, they suck. Oh, I love these V-Bots so much. I wish they were in every ruin. They're not... Actually, I think they are in every ruin, now that I think about it. It's like their sole mission in life is to make sure that you always get a, a good amount of money. I love those things, man. Are they in the third ruin? I don't... I don't think they're in the third ruin. Actually, yeah, yeah. There's some in the third ruin. They should... They are. They're everywhere. They're not in the first room, but they're in the, the first uh, optional room. Another one above me. Let me get this. Ah, oh, see what I'm talking about? Take the lifter, man. It sucks. Boom. <laughs> now, the lifter is powerful if you use it right, but I don't, I don't like it, you know? Kind of, it's kind of like the knife in Resident Evil. You know. Strong but suicidal. Alright guys, we're out of here. Not quite, we got one more showdown with uh, Claymore. And unfortunately, Data isn't anywhere nearby, so I'm just going to do the same thing I did before, just drill the fuck out of him. I thought I told you to wait. I didn't think you'd gotten this far. A little more, and I would have lost you. Okay, then. Ready for another round? Hey, hey, hey. This one's for you. Nutty. Dodge this. Heads up. You're pretty strong, aren't you? That's a big gun you've got. But it's not enough to hurt me. You kids, do they think you're so hot? Well, there's still some fight left in this old man. I'll... <laughs> <sighs> My back. Ow, 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 I can't move. Help me. Somebody, help me. I thought I was supposed to be your partner, not your nursery. We're willing to call it a draw if you are, boy. Come on, Claymore. Let's go. Oh, if it weren't for my back, I'd have wiped up the floor with them, I tell you. Yeah, 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 whatever you say. 
Okay, I didn't realize till now that I had the Agato volume turned all the way up, so you probably didn't hear a damn thing I was saying on my way back up. If if that's the case, sorry about that. So I'm assuming that Claymore can only do that that teleportation thing if uh, Bola's with him. But yeah, so yeah, for a fast and easy fight, just bring your your uh, drill arm and wait until he's like, you know, pause for a brief second, then walk up to him and. Drill the fuck out of him He'll be dead in a couple of seconds So yeah Again This this game definitely was not Better tested for Stuff like that Cause that, 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 there's no way That that should be allowed Alright guys And that completely Puts a fork In Nino Ruins I won't be coming back Down here again Unless I decide To use that That room I showed you With the four floating Root bots To um To farm Zenny so that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Take it easy, guys. DK out.